Thank you, Governor. Uh, just to echo the comments that the governor's made, it's been absolutely a phenomenal uh, effort across the state. Uh, I was able to visit with uh, Forest County earlier this morning, uh, in Harrison County earlier today, and here now in Hancock County. Hope to be visiting with Jackson County later today. Uh, we have been talking also with uh, counties further inland in South Mississippi, Adams County, Warren County, and be making some more phone calls later today. Uh, as the governor has said, and as you have been tracking, if you've been keeping up with this storm, and that most of you have, uh, this storm is beginning to make landfall now with the winds on the Gulf Coast. We're starting to see that, and uh, we're still projecting that storm to make land, landfall later this evening uh, and on into early parts of the morning. Yeah. As is always the case of any storm that comes in the Gulf of Mexico, right, the storm you. is apt to do any number of things. So until the storm actually makes landfall, it's extremely important that everyone pay attention, watch the news, and the information that's coming out with your respective emergency management uh, directors and officers in your counties. Listen, uh, if they put in guidance out uh, with curfews and with regard to, to, to guidance, uh, heed those warnings and, uh, and take precautions. Uh, always, uh, we want to prepare for the worst and then hope for the best. And uh, this storm hopefully will be leaving and be gone out of our system by very early uh, in morning hours. And uh, then we will begin recovery efforts and whatever those cases may be. For those of you that are living uh, further north of the coastal areas, it's important that you understand that there's gonna be second, third order effects as a result of the storm. Uh, heavy amounts of rainfall, we're gonna, gonna uh, create a large amount of saturation in the ground that's already heavily saturated from rains that we've had earlier. Uh, earlier over the, the weekend and earlier parts of the week. Uh, also always a threat of tornadic activity from the, uh, from the wind gales that we would get or the gale force winds uh, that will come out as a, as a result of the storm. Those that are, if you follow the track of the storm, the upper part, the upper northern part of the cone, uh, there's a, a large concentrations of rain that's to be expected in those areas. So I want to make sure that you prepare. Uh, again, pay attention to the weather, listen to your local emergency management agencies, and take appropriate actions when that's put out. Um, to concur uh, or echo what the governor said, look standing behind me, this has been absolutely a great team effort from all across the state, from all of our agencies and support from the National Guard. I'm very much appreciative uh, of the support that we've gotten. And uh, I thank again uh, Brian Adams for hosting this uh, press conference here today in Hancock County. Thank you.